Only on 9, Jim Garner and Bob Mills, Sky News 9 over the scene today. Tonight, one person now in custody after a high-speed chase in Oklahoma City. What a wild chase. Our Jordan Frimstead went to the place where everything ended, and he shows us how officers were able to arrest that driver. Jordan? Yeah, that chase uh, became so dangerous tonight that the Oklahoma County Sheriff's Office had initially called off that pursuit to protect officers until the Oklahoma City Police Department was able to join in on that pursuit. Now, that driver, despite driving more than 100 miles per hour in rush hour traffic and shooting at officers, no one was hurt. Extremely dangerous situation. This is the spot where it all came to a stop. Uh, he had reached speeds of upwards of 100 miles per hour. After law enforcement chased a driver with a stolen SUV for more than an hour, Oklahoma County Sheriff's officers initially called off the pursuit to protect its officers. We already knew who the suspect was and figured we could probably get him later because he was driving so recklessly. Oklahoma County Deputy Aaron Brilbeck says they believe the driver was involved in a domestic incident where he slashed someone's tires. Uh, we believe it to be an ex-girlfriend. At one point, the driver turned into the parking lot of the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. The pursuit moved through Jones into parts of northeast Oklahoma. The driver got out of the stolen SUV at Chad Ucey's home. When he opened up my truck door, that's when it kind of clicked with me like, hey, this isn't one of your, you know, kids' friends. Chad says he usually leaves his keys in his truck, but took them inside this time. But he says this suspect took something else instead. He grabbed my pistol that was in my door panel. Moments later, he gets back in the SUV, and the chase continued. The driver even firing shots at police before ending up right outside Danny and Sheila McAllister's yard. We just lived here a year, and they said, oh, this is a nice, quiet neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> a pursuit people will remember. It's a long time. Yeah, yes. yeah we oh. will. Yeah, definitely. And everyone, including the driver behind the wheel of this dangerous chase, walked away unharmed. And honestly, it's a miracle that nobody was injured or killed during the course of this. Yeah, you heard it there from Deputy Aaron Brobeck, a miracle no one was hurt. And it's also important to note no officers were injured in tonight's pursuit. That driver, however, will face numerous charges. Reporting live outside the Oklahoma City Police Department, Jordan Fremstead, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.